Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I want to talk about Zercher squats. I received a question from a viewer who wants to know if Zercher squats are a decent and reasonable long-term replacement exercise for back squats or front squats. And before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. All right, so we have a gentleman that's lifting at home, and for whatever reason, the reason doesn't matter because that's, let's just talk about Zercher squats in this video, but for whatever reason, he can't do back squats at home. He doesn't have a squat rack, and front squats are troublesome at home as well. Maybe he can't clean enough weight up to front squat, so I'm going to assume that's the reason, but the interesting part of the question or the topic um, is, are Zercher squats a reasonable and long-term replacement? For back squats. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with Zercher squats, you basically rest the bar right here in the crook of your elbow and you just squat like you would normally. It mimics pretty much a front squat, except you're going to get a lot of pain and pressure right here in the old elbow area. So, could you get decent and reasonable leg gains using just Zercher squats? Absolutely. If you can get, and if you can deal with the pain of doing Zercher squats, a Zercher squat very much mimics the front squat. So as long as you're getting in a good amount of volume and you're getting in progressive overload, then you will be fine. A Zercher squat, even if you could say only get up to 225 or 275 for a 5 by 10 or whatever, would give you a good quality amount of leg work. And for the average lifter, and I stress here average lifter who just wants to build up his leg size and probably isn't going to be a power lifter, if you can build a Zercher squat up and you have enough weight to do so to maybe 275 or 315 by a 5 by 10, it probably will give you a very reasonable amount of leg gains. Now, if you are this type of individual, I would also recommend who's training at home, I mean, um, I would also recommend backing up this type of work with, you could do box jumps, you could do body weight lunges, you could do weighted step ups with dumbbells, you could do all kinds of interesting things. If the weight got a little bit too easy, one of the interesting things you could do, or if you wanted to increase the challenge of Zercher squats, you could superset them with, say, 20 box jumps or 20 body weight lunges on each leg. This would provide you with excellent stimulation. So the question again is, can you, if you're a home lifter who can't do back squats or front squats for whatever reason, will Zercher squats suffice in the long run? Will they be a reasonable replacement for these exercises? Yes, but don't hesitate to get creative. Maybe do a little superset action with box jumps or body weight lunges or, or step ups, uh, time step ups or weighted step ups, etc. And one, one more thing, when you're doing these things, make sure to protect yourself. Put a little padding. Sometimes I'd wrap just a sweatshirt around there just to get a little padding so I wouldn't tear up my inner elbow. So, guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.